بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آئی ایم ونس اگین ہیئر وتھ اے نیو پریزنٹیشن دیٹ آئی ہیو میڈ آن سنگل انٹری اکاؤنٹنگ سسٹم اسپیشلی فار دا کلاسز آف فرسٹ ایئر اینڈ انٹر کامرس اسٹوڈنٹس مائی پریزنٹیشن ٹوڈے ول comprised of definition of single entry and then types and which firms using it its advantages its disadvantages and finally i will be focusing on uh, problem regarding single entry accounting system well friends you have ever heard the name of double entry accounting system as well as single entry accounting system so first of all i would uh, i would like to tell you the definition of single entry any transaction that has only single impact rather than that of double impact say for example i am purchasing furniture for my business on cash here furniture would be debited and cash would be credited but as far as single entry accounting system is concerned in which we only record furniture as expense and we are not related with the cash that is to be credited that would be the concept uh, that would be the concept of then double entry so focusing on single entry normally you have ever heard uh, and uh, seen the shopkeepers and the firms uh, of uh, with a few employees or enterprises or entrepreneurship uh, that has been using the single entry accounting system again it uh, depends on the requirement of so basically in the books of account we only give the single impact of each transaction that is called single entry accounting here i have uh, shown the impact the nature of transactions in uh, the books of accounts of single entry it single entry normally focusing on checks deposits and balances that means we have already balance and from which we are adding revenue and deducting expenses on one column likewise we used to share date amount and description of each transaction now here i have shown the example of three column single entry record basically single entry accounting system has two types three column single entry record and five column single entry record here you will see both but before that i would like to focus on three column single entry record it has basically three columns one two and three the date transaction in amount now its major part is this column which i said mentioned in my earlier definition that with the opening balance of our cash in the books of account that is mentioned over here 4520 from which we used to uh, subtract expenses in parentheses or in brackets i have shown the minus figures and the plus figure is our revenue that is a date in our balance when you are when you will minus these bracket amounts from 4520 rupees and you will add the plus figures 1040.25 592.25 
then you will at the end you will be having 5390 rupees 0.21 so this is basically the type of single entry card that normally shopkeepers small merchants use in their books of accounts likewise i have shown here exhibit 1 the minimal form uh, form of single entry bookkeeping for a few days transaction for small business income funds are positive numbers and outgoing funds are negative numbers in parentheses that i all already mentioned that the negative figures and positive figures are to be plus and minus from the opening balance now moving towards the another type of five column single entry record in which there are basically five columns date transaction revenue expenses and balance i have quoted the same example but there is a little bit variance that is we used to keep the plus figures over here and minus figures over here these are our expenses and these are our revenue so this is another type of five column single entry record if you keep continue from this figure 4520 rupees you will be minusing three figures then you will be having this balance and again you will be adding this figure to into this you will be having the balance of this figure at 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 the end you will be having this figure so here i have mentioned single entry bookkeeping with a running balance and separate columns for income being revenues and outgoing expenses income incoming funds are positive numbers and outgoing funds are negative numbers means whatever coming in business is debit whatever whatever going from business is credit but here therefore there is no concept of debit and credit but here i only give the picture of going means is expense coming means is revenue so guys my dear viewers students come towards the next uh, uh, sec second slide who uses single entry system as you know that uh, single entry system uh, accounting system uh, has been using by different people i have mentioned slide number 1 over here used by small business having a few employees or no employees that means a business that has no employees or a few employees who, who used to use single entry accounting system in second slide is those who uses cash basis accounting and no accrual accounting means in single entry accounting system we just use the cash based accounting system and not on the credit transaction or accrual transaction sorry so the third one is firms have a few routine business transactions means any type of business that have a few transactions on daily basis that's why single entry accounting system is used so after this transaction i will show you that there is another slide regarding advantages and disadvantages i was uh, explaining advantages uh, with uh, single entry accounting system the first factor is simplicity it means uh, having work worked with single entry accounting system it is easy to execute and no methods to follow that means we don't have such type of formula of double entry accounting system just uh, as like as normal shopkeeper who is doing uh, or calculating the statistics or the computations so this is the simple city in single entry accounting system so it is easy that's why it is called uh, it is counted uh, as his first advantage second one is cost saving guys in double entry accounting system we used to buy the box softwares and all these requirements are uh, need to be provided while dealing with uh, the double entry accounting system and we need to buy the accountant accounting professionals like chartered accountants and auditors uh, from the firms to handle with these but here in single entry accounting system there is no need of buying softwares and keeping 
and the accounting professional just a simple ordinary person can handle these calculations so this is also called as cost saving huge expenditures are being saved also the third one is convenience a business is unlikely to become overdrawn on its bank account that means in double entry accounting system we used to purchase things say for example in our bank account there is 500 rupees but finally we overdrawn amount is 1000 means minus 500 has been overdrawn so but in single entry accounting system we keep watch on our cash balances because each time we deduct the expenses and revenue as i already told you from the balances of cash in hand so there are, there are fewer chances of overdrawn as well as uh, 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 at a glance a small business owner can see their balance at any time that means the balances are cash in hand every time we uh, have a look upon it and there are very low chances of uh, being overdrawn so these are its advantages yes friends uh, now i would like to talk on disadvantages of single uh, entry accounting system insufficient data it means one can go for financial statements as i told you that we are unable to prepare the income statement the balance sheet cash flow statement statement of retained earnings from uh, with keeping the record of single entry accounting system and theft that means this is also uh, another kind of disadvantage that keeping the record of single entry accounting system there are many chances of theft there are many chances of criminal activities that means criminal activities is less likely to be detected this is because assets are not tracked so mostly we have uh, we uh, do not have any double impact of each transaction so we cannot tally our record we cannot tally our assets so this is the big disadvantage in double uh, single entry accounting system as well as errors there are uh, many chances of mistakes uh, using single entry accounting uh, method also this means some mistakes in recording a transaction may take a long time to find or never discovered an audit would have to be done manually line by line it means there is no methodology there uh, due to uh, no use of software due to no use of a double entry accounting system one is not easy with a single entry accounting system and one is failed to detect the errors so it takes longer time so uh, guys this was basically the uh, these were basically the disadvantages and uh, as per my contents i told you that at the end of this presentation i would be giving you the lecture on solved problems solved problem regarding single entry accounting system so here is the problem regarding single entry let's move towards it i have prepared this uh, uh, accounting problem uh, very comprehensively and tried my level best to uh, let you conceive let you under, understood properly so now moving towards the problem number 1 Altaf Brothers maintains his accounting records on single entry basis. He supplied the following information. Okay, we have following uh, information: cash, account receivable, supplies, mercantile, accrued expenses, notes payable, equipment, marketable securities, and other information is. We can say that it, uh, uh, some adjustments are there also. Withdrawn. Rupees 500 per month cash for his personal use and rupees 4000 for business expense. Additional investment, depreciation on equipment, outstanding rent, unused supplies. What actually the 
this problem is uh, expecting from us to solve is determine the amount of unadjusted profit or loss for the year ending December 31st 1989 as you know that we have been given the figures the balances the statistics uh, of January 1 1989 and then the our uh, balances at December 31st, 1989. Now, the question is that we have to determine the unadjusted profit first of all with using these two equations, accounting equation and then capital at start plus additional investment minus drawing and then plus minus whatever there would be. Either there would be the profit or loss so that's why we have used two signs and then capital at the end and then the there is second requirement b that is prepare a statement of profit or loss for the year ending december 31st 1989 so dear students i usually mention in my lecture that first of all try to understand the problem that what actually it is asked for from you in presentation are in a problem and then if you are succeeded to understand the problem it would be very easy for you to solve it out if you are failed to understand the problem then you can never ever solve the problem so let's have a look upon the solution i have prepared for you very comprehensively i hope so that you will enjoy it and you will try to understand it and I am trying my level best to give you the very detailed information regarding it. Here we have a question that what they would like. First of all, they said they focus on accounting equation in order to uh, find out the capital. Here you will see in all the data, there is no capital. As you know that these are the cash account receivable, supplies, merchandise inventory, these are the part of assets and these are accrued expense in notes payable these are the part of liabilities and then equipment marketable security these are also assets so first of all we will try to uh, see to assess to examine what actually the capital was at the inception of the business in at january 1st 1989 so here i have uh, solved it. Let's see assets is equal to liability plus owner equity. We have normally the equation if we are finding the owner security then that means assets uh, minus liability is equal to owner security. That is the equation for it. So I am giving, giving you the solution for it. I have uh, Put over here cash, account receivable, supplies, merchandise, equipment, marketable security. Let's look over. Let's have a glance on the asset size 4500. All assets I have taken up to marketable securities. See, when you will calculate these all, you will be having the total of 65,000 as an asset. And there are two things regarding liabilities these are accrued expense and notes payable so we have two things over here 12,000 and 3,000 these are all liabilities so friends notes payable and accrued expense means expense due that is not yet paid that's why we call it liability so 12,000 plus 3,000 will be equal to 15,000 I have put a formula over here for your convenience and x we have to determine means capital we have to determine whenever we will put x over here say for example here is the equation a for a set is equal to a liability is equal to owner security whenever we will find owner security it will be equal to it will be equal to a set It will be equal to a set minus liability. 
because liability is plus over here. Okay, guys. Owner security is equal to asset minus liability. So today we will sell out the capital at the start of business. Now here is sixty-five thousand asset that will be that I have put over here. You will see, and then we have deducted fifteen thousand rupees liability from it, and at the end we have had fifty thousand rupees. and this is the capital at the start of the business now there is another requirement capital at the start and capital at the end let me write over here capital at end okay now we have other figures for assets and liabilities they, which are placed over here 11000 22000 1500 Okay, and there are two items from four thousand five hundred four thousand five hundred twenty seven thousand five hundred from the liability side. Let's uh, look. Well, guys, I was telling you about the liabilities. Alta brother capital at the end. Uh, we have two entries of liabilities that is uh, that were notes payable and accrued expenses. Twenty-seven thousand five hundred and four thousand five hundred. So, the these two are placed over here: notes payable and equipment, notes payable and accrued expenses. Four thousand five hundred, twenty-seven thousand five hundred, and rest of the figures which are related with assets. In both section, there is no capital. So, first of all, we determined capital. Now we are going for profit and loss account statement. So, see over here. before uh, going for profit and loss account statement let me tell you the with the same way we have calculated uh, see over here we have uh, 17000 rupees total assets and then we have liabilities of 32000 rupees and what we have to determine capital at the end of the business that i have placed x is we have to determine So with the same way, with the same way as I mentioned earlier in this equation, that with owner equity will be equal to asset minus liability. So likewise, I have mentioned over here we have asset one lakh seven thousand rupees and the liabilities are uh, having figure thirty two thousand rupees. When this will be deducted from this, we will be having this amount capital at the uh, end of business would be seventy five thousand rupees. This was capital at start, and this was capital at end. Okay, guys. Now we uh, in problem. They are asking for profit and loss account that was un unadjusted in first A. This is the requirement. A determine the amount of unadjusted unadjusted profit or loss. Let's look over there. I have calculated. The unadjusted profit over here. See, capital at start that was fifty thousand rupees. See, I have taken from here, and then additional investment twelve thousand rupees. Means when we started business, there was capital of fifty thousand rupees, and in middle of the time period, some other investment was made. That was twelve thousand rupees. That is mentioned here. See, in point number. Two, you will see additional investment made rupees twelve thousand rupees. So that I have mentioned over here means this investment and this investment both will be added. And another entry is that uh, with drawn rupees five hundred C per month means business started in January and ended December. There would be twelve months. Five hundred multiply by twelve. That will be six thousand rupees. Means sixty hundred rupees. Sixty hundred, uh, six thousand rupees. Uh, the uh, businessman has used, uh, has taken for personal use. That is six thousand rupees. Now I, this will be less. This will be less from the capital. I have placed both sign. Additional investment will be added and drawing will be debit, uh, credited. So the uh, gentleman. Fifty thousand plus twelve thousand would be total sixty-two thousand. Out of which six thousand will be 
uh, minus and then there will be net profit of 56,000 and capital at the end was 75,000. Okay, when send, uh, we will deduct uh, send, uh, this amount from this 75,000 minus 56,000, we will be having 19,000 rupees unadjusted net profit. And again, this is the unadjusted profit. But what is adjusted profit? Let, let's come over there in problem. Again, there is a requirement. Prepare a statement of profit and loss for the year ending December 31st, 1989. That would be our adjusted profit. Now, I have tried to solve it as well. See, capital at the end was 75,000 rupees. Drawing were 6,000 6, rupees. These both will be added 81,000 rupees. Okay. And then capital at the start was 50,000 rupees and additional remains were 12,000 rupees. When we will be adding these both figures, these both figures will be added. This into this, we will be having 62,000 rupees balance. Okay. This is our uh, capital at the start plus investment. Unadjusted profit was 19,000. Now, this uh, from 81,000, we have deducted 62,000 rupees. And at the end, we had 19,000. This is equal to this one. Okay. Now, as you see that uh, there are in uh, statement number one, there was uh, drawing plus uh, 4,000 was used for personal use. This was our business expense. Okay. And another expenses were depreciation expense. From equipment, outstanding rent expense 1500 and unused supplies were you will see over here there were 1500. When we will deduct 700 from 1500, we will be having 800. So come over here, 800 I have put over here and rent expense I have put 1500 that is mentioned over here and depreciation expense 2000 rupees I have put over here and then I have put uh, the 4000 rupees as a business expense over here. When we will calculate all these expenses, this would be a, equal to 8,300 rupees. 8,300 rupees. Now, come towards the problem. Unadjusted profit was 19,000 rupees and 8,300 rupees was our, uh, were our expenses. When we will deduct from our unadjusted net profit, uh, these expenses will be having adjusted net profit at the end. So this is guys all the requirement. First of all, Piara Baro students, let me tell you uh, before you go for the solution, we need to go. Asa ke cha karna hoyo sabha ka pehra ta hithe listen hoyo ta requirement me asa ke cha gurje. Asa ke asset signal hoya. Asa ke liabilities signal hoyi. Par asa ke jo kaso capital na na lo opening investment na 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 lo. Ta aage khabar unda janam ka account equation me missing shi hundiya. Tuwa calculate karni hundiya. Thika. असा पेरा छाकियो सी बिनी शन जो बिनी साल माना जनवरी में जके असा बैलेंसेस हुआ ए दिसंबर में जके असा बैलेंसेस है उन में असा बिनी जो कैपिटल मालूम कियो ये असा जे एसेट्स हुआ ये असा जे लायबिलिटी हुई 55000 में 15000 कटिया सी बाकी असा 50000 जो को कैपिटल स्टार्ट में थियो बिजनेस में the figures on a hey can see assets can see liabilities can see as I hit the capital malum cano to San Panyatra assets one hickle satazariata and but three other asana you call liability we in a hickle satan ma but three other sakata cassi to Panyatra asana bacha he capital at the end you poor sign requirement in business the asaka unadjusted and adjusted profit you unadjusted profit in you see capital is start Panyazar Kyozi additional investment Jagaita and it in a lay asake take an expenses in a latte. Additional investment में add करना चाहिए, drawing में हम minus करना चाहिए, ऐसा net profit अच्छी नो, capital at end पंजा तरह दाव नो, पंजा तरह दाव ना छान जाजार में सा minus करना चाहिए, ऐसा आठ उन्हीं हजार अच्छी नो, उन्हें कहाँ पोस्ट आके adjusted profit ठानो है ना माँ, ठीक है, हाँ नहीं, ये चोसा जो unadjusted और net profit, ठीक है, आई adjusted छाती नो ऐसा adjustment के consider करना चाहिए, वो so, we have to move on to capital at the end. Capital is equal to the capital. We have to move on 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 to the capital. We have to uh, 62,000. 62,000 is the same thing. Chica, yes, and your chatter. 
माना स्टार्टिंग वाली इन्वेस्टमेंट ही जने असा 81000 मा ही इन्वेस्टमेंट कटिंग आवी असा 90000 19000 हिते इंदी असा बैलेंस यू अनएडजस्टेड आई नेट प्रॉफिट ठीक है वारो उने खा पो असा छा क्यों दी एक्सपेंसेस क्या दी जेके असा एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन एक्सपेंसेस चार होया एकड़ो एक्सपेंस 4000 जो यो एकड़ो एक्सपेंस जको 7 800 जो ही सप्लाई 1500 मा 700 कटिंग आवी 1500 मथे लिखियो पियो उने मा 700 असा 800 बचा बिया 1500 ए बिया 2000 ई असा एक्सपेंसेस न मा ई सब पाण में फुटिंग करे ने जी ए तरह कना दी दस वील बी हैविंग एडजस्टेड नेट प्रॉफिट दिस फ्रॉम दिस अमाउंट वील बी डिटेक्टिंग दिस अमाउंट वी एट द एंड वील बी हैविंग 10700 आई होप सो यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड माय लेक्चर इंशाल्लाह आई विल सी यू अगेन विद न्यू स्लाइड्स न्यू लेक्चर आई होप सो यू ऑल हैव एंजॉयड थैंक यू वेरी मच गाइस अल्लाह हाफिज़